So guys, welcome back in another video of our The Stabits Update. This is our the very own series that in this series we actually does uh, explain everything about that has happened since this week has started and what exactly the progress has made at the uh, Starbase. So let's go into the see uh, since the this week has started the day of our the Monday. Since this week has started we have seen the many things that have been moved out and has been conducted and has been uh, actually going to do it. So the since the booster 13 and the ship 33, when the both vehicle has been rolled to the different places. The first, the booster 13 has been rolled into the Mega Wave 1, which is located at the production side. And simultaneously, at the similar time, the ship 33 has been rolled out to the Massey Outpost for its the first, very first, the testing campaign, which includes the cryoproof test to test the structural integrity of its the uh, the both of the propellant tanks. The first tank is a CH4, and second tank is a LOX. So the both tanks will be tested out at the MSS in a couple of days later. But uh, since the Monday, we have uh, done a lot of things at the uh, production side. At the science side, uh, we have delivered and we've been delivered the more of, more of the orbital launch mount, the next generation orbital launch mount, which are going to be developed over the, the Tower B, that actually these, these the, the part of the orbital launch mount too has been delivered to at the uh, SNSI site and the more parts is incoming as the following by the first part has been delivered and along with the these parts we have delivered the our the BQD the booster quick disconnects known for the uh, feed the propellant into the booster this mechanism the outfitting mechanism structure has been delivered at these sensors also and uh, more of the part that essential for to make the perfect orbital launch mount and very functional orbital mount, launch mount is getting the delivered day by day and is still delivering to the, uh, the sensor side. And uh, there is a one question why they are delivering to the sensor side instead of delivering to the at the tower B because where are we going to they implement them at the uh, next to us uh, tower B. The answer is that they are prefabricated, they are free prefabricating these parts at the sensor side. So there will be not any the extensional work and additional work we will have to do at the tower B when they will be delivered back to there. So we will going to be very feasible at the process to do the stacking procedure and installation procedure of the over the orbital launch mount to the second generation. And uh, along with this, uh, orbital launch mount has been delivered. We have seen the beautiful family of our the favorite and very own heart, the Gary. Gary is known for the grackle. These birds, you might have seen them uh, flying around the and actually across the starbase. I love them on much prime because the grackle and Gary is became the signature of the word the starbase watcher. Our the star is a watcher is always enjoying when the Gary comes in of over the frame. And I love them too much. And you can see their family are sitting down there. This picture I have taken just by the screenshot because I was watching the 7 live stream and while I was I caught this the entire moment and just I just wanted to show you that how the SpaceX does not affect the our, the animals and does not affect our the life systems. Uh, of the outer life systems and outer the life origins doesn't matter the environmental damage is really assessing a lot but that that's other part so let's move into the another third update of our of our the starbase update the first thing that the since the ship 33 has been rolled back into uh, and rolled roll out to the messy outpost mm -hmm. we finally got the few days for the preparation the big day so the big day preparation has been uh, begun since the ship has been moved out at the, the Massey Outpost. The first thing that the space crew did that was uh, installing the perfect uh, structure, I'm installing the perfect 
the ground systems for the ship 33 because this is a version 2 model and we have to ensure the safety before we go into the field of propellant into this uh, entire the ship. So they have begun the installation and they have done it at the uh, Monday. And the uh, next day over Tuesday, when they have uh, started out to do the testing of the, uh, the ship 33 that has begun since the Tuesday to uh, Thursday. So this is uh, between the uh, three days and four days. They have uh, conducted the perfect and the fully filled the propellant occupation in our the version to the both of the tanks. And uh, these and, uh, and actually it, it was a uh, it held well the better than the actually we have expected because uh, version two ships have the very large area of its the uh, CH4 tank. Uh, is uh, compared to the O2 means as the oxidizer tank. Uh, there is a very comparison between them, but this is just the incredible like a <clears throat> this is just the iteration and the enhancement for the orbital approach. In the future, the spaces will try to do the further flights and ensures the capabilities of the ship 33 and the version 2 models that they can actually go to the orbit and then come back to the Earth. So for that, we have to gain and we have to carry the more propellant for the, the in-orbit burn-up and in-orbit ignition. So for that, the, we have increased the size and the volume of our the CH4 tank. And along with this, the uh, the 3 has been concluded, the successful careful test, and it will come back to the production style in a mega bay 2 for its the final in uh, engine installation and we will see the more of the things coming out and the ship uh, just uh, since the booster 13 has been conducted the static fire test since then we haven't received any the footage and the photography of it so this is our last update and this all the update has been concluded so bye guys i will admit to you as soon as possible my name is Gorzoshi and watching the nasa directory <laughs>